Good morning, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. It's not every day that space experts, distinguished academics, scientists, entrepreneurs, innovators, astronauts, and humans with a passion for space from all around the world gather in one place. It is truly amazing. I have the distinct honor of welcoming you on behalf of the Mohammed Bar Rashid Space Center and the International Astronautical Federation to the opening ceremony of the 72nd International Astronautical Congress. This is happening for the very first time in the Arab world, right here in the UAE, in Dubai. Just three decades ago, our interest in space exploration and the sciences was set into motion. We are now hosting this prestigious event and taking bold and ambitious strides to explore space. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you for visiting our city, our home. To do the proceedings, I'd like to ask all of you to rise for the national anthem of the UAE. It's interesting what happens before an event of this scale and scope. It's been several years since the Mohammed Bar Rashid Space Center won the bid to host the International Astronautical Congress, followed by years of planning and preparations, countless hours of attending to every single aspect and detail to make sure that you all get the best experience and the safest stay here in Dubai throughout the event. And now, it's officially happening. And we're so excited how everyone will together achieve the objectives of the Congress, which has been summarized beautifully in its theme, to inspire, innovate, and discover for the benefit of humankind. Now allow me to welcome the chairman of the Mohammed Bar Rashid Space Center, the host organization of the 72nd International Astronautical Congress, His Excellency Hamad Abid Al Mansouri. Your ministers, your excellencies, head of agencies, member of parliaments, ladies and gentlemen, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am happy to welcome you all at the 72nd International Astronautical Congress, the IAC 2021, held for the very first time in the Arab world here in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and the ruler of Dubai. I would like to begin with a special thanks to all our partners in this event who believed in the value of growing cultures of science and space exploration. I would also like to thank the organizer for their hospitality 
and more importantly, for their ensuring the event is held with the highest level of safety precaution for all our attendees. This beautiful country, the United Arab Emirates, was founded in 1971. Just 50 years ago, while our founder leader is discussing the essential nation building, some nations present in this hall have come a long way with their space program, building satellite, spacecraft, and even launching humans to outer space and landing on the surface of the moon. Barely five years later, in 1976, our founding president, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, was already looking to the star. In February that year, he held a memorable meeting with the Apollo Soyuz astronaut, Tom, Sfart, Tom Stadford, Venice Brandy, and Dickie Slayton. In our then emerging capital, Abu Dhabi, an old black and white image that captured the meeting show, Sheikh Zayed studying the model of the spacecraft presented with the curious eyes. In 2004, Sheikh Zayed unfortunately passed away. But the dream remained. A year later, the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center was established, setting the scene to launch the first Emirati astronaut to the space, Hazza al Mansouri. A few months ago, we became only the fifth country in the world to successfully get to, to Mars by, by launching our mission, which called Al Amal, means hope in English. Through the hope group, we wanted to replant hope in the heart of millions of people in this region. We wanted to tell them that ambition and science open up boundless horizon and that the future for cooperation, interaction, and discovery. And soon, we saw the seed of hope grow and multiply. When United Arab Emirates announced the second batch of United Arab Emirates astronaut program, more than 4,300 young Emirati men and women applied. For us, it is a great result. Our leaders has always believed in wisdom that says, if you want one year of prosperity, grow grain. If you want 10 years of prosperity, grow tree. If you want 100 years of prosperity, grow people. And this is what the United Arab Emirates is doing, empowering the youth who are designing the nation future with a mindset of continued and determined achievement. This month, our leadership announced new plans to explore the planet Venus before the end of the coming decades, outlining our new ambitions. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that the coming five days of this event will be full of fruitful discussion between stakeholders from respected space agencies and institute who have joined us from around the world to share their inside strategies and future ambition for the industry. We at Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center are committed to making this event a successful story, to be added to the array of international events 
that Dubai is currently hosting, especially Expo 2020 Dubai, to which I personally invite you all so we together can learn and enjoy the culture, tradition, and innovation from over 192 countries who are meeting together under the theme Connecting Might, Creating the Future. To conclude, I invite you all to view this video showcasing the journey of Mohammed Barraj Space Center from incept till date and beyond. Welcome once again, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the Congress. Thank you. Sometimes a dream is too big to fit Earth and its expanse of 510 million square kilometers. Too vast for its plains, mountains, oceans and deserts. As Emiratis, we've always dreamt big, turning them into realities as we did with space. In 2006, we took our first step by establishing the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center. At the start of our journey, we wanted to monitor Earth from space. We made that a reality in 2009, when Dubai Sat-1, the UAE's first Earth observation satellite, reached its orbit. Our first satellite contributed to urban planning projects, including the Palm Jumeirah and Al Maktoum Airport, and supported natural disaster relief efforts during the earthquake and tsunami that hit Japan. 2013 saw the launch of Dubai Sat 2, which provided high quality images that contributed to the study of environmental changes and infrastructure development projects. Four years later, we launched another satellite, Naif 1, which became the UAE's first nano satellite. The dream evolved as our satellites reached Earth's orbit. It was then time for our astronauts. In 2017, the UAE astronaut program was launched, and a year later, Hazza al Mansouri and Sultan al Niadi were selected as the first Emirati astronauts. In 2018, we achieved another goal by launching Khalifa Sat into orbit. It is one of the world's most technologically advanced remote sensing observation satellites, and the first to be designed and manufactured 100% by Emirati team. We continued with our work and preparations for our next destination, 400 kilometers away from Earth. On the 25th of September 2019, we launched the first Emirati astronaut to the International Space Station. Hazza al Mansouri conducted 16 scientific experiments, fulfilling Zayed's ambition in the process. من دولة الإمارات من الوطن العربي يكلمكم باللغة العربية من محطة الفضاء الدولية. The same ambition carried us further across space on a 493 million kilometer journey to Mars. In 2020, the Hope probe launched to Mars and reached the red planet's orbit on the 9th of February 2021. The probe's journey is part of the Emirates Mars mission that aims to study the atmosphere of Mars and provide 1,000 gigabytes of scientific data to the world. While the Hope Probe's mission continues, we set a new destination with new goals. We launched the Emirates Lunar Mission that will carry the Rashid rover to the surface of the Moon in 2022, where it will study the regolith in an unexplored area. No matter how much further away from Earth we go, it always remains our home. To protect our environment, we developed, in partnership with Dubai Municipality, DMSAT-1, the region's first nanometric environmental satellite, and launched it in 2021. The same year also witnessed the announcement of the second batch of the UAE astronaut program with Mohammed Al Mullah and Noura Al Matrushi, who became the first Arab woman to join an astronaut program. 2021 was also the year in which the first Emirati analog mission was announced. The mission undertaken by Abdullah Hamadi and Saleh Al-Amri 
is part of the Mars 2117 program, which will lead us to build a human settlement on the Red Planet. It is part of our journey towards the future, a journey in which we collaborate with global partners and carry from the UAE to the whole world the message that impossible is possible. Next, we welcome an inspiration, a highly accomplished scientist, an educator, and a leader. She took up duty two years ago as the president of the International Astronautical Federation, the prime mover of the International Astronautical Congress, and led the formulation of IAF Global Advocacy Agenda from 2019 to 2022 which will serve as the guiding framework for supporting and facilitating global space governance, stimulating and propelling the global space economy, and influencing and fostering global space advocacy. After the introductory video that we're gonna see about the IAF, we will be welcoming on stage Professor Pascal Ehrenfreud after this video. Honorable Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear space community, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great privilege and honor 
as the president of the International Astronautical Federation, founder and organizer of this global space event, to warmly welcome you to this 72nd International Astronautical Congress, the IAC 2021. I'm sure no one would disagree how great it is to see each other again in person here in the vibrant city of Dubai. Needless to say that these last two years have been particularly challenging for many of us. I'm pleased to welcome you all here today in the World Trade Center and that we could bring the IAF, the IAF and the IAC for the first time to an Arab country. So the United Arab Emirates have established a dynamic and ambitious space sector. We have seen this also the achievements in the video. And in this respect, I would like to extend my deepest appreciation to the host organization, the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center, with whom we have worked intensively for the past four years to put this exciting Congress together and to offer you an amazing program. So, <laughs> let me also acknowledge our partners, the International Academy of Astronautics, the International Institute of Space Law, and the Space Generation uh, Advisory Council for their continuous support. And of course, none of this would have been possible without our IAF Secretariat, led by its Executive Director, Dr. Christian Feichtinger, who also has birthday today, uh, uh, and together with the team. <laughs> going a little bit off script, yeah? Um, and together with the team, really worked restlessly for the past years to ensure the success of this IAC. And many thanks also to the IAF Bureau and all the members of the International Program Committee who have supported us in shaping an outstanding high quality program for the IAC. Ladies and gentlemen, 2021 is a year full of accomplishments to celebrate. And I would like to acknowledge them all, uh, but I can just mention a few highlights. NASA's Perseverance rover looking for signs of life on Mars and preparing for Mars sample return. Our Chinese colleagues who are making impressive progress with their first Mars mission Tianwen-1 and the launch of their Tiangong space station. SpaceX Crew-2, the second operational flight of a Crew Dragon spacecraft of NASA's commercial crew program. Several missions of private astronauts and cosmonauts executed by Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin, SpaceX and Roscosmos and the UAE's HOPE probe currently studying the atmosphere of Mars is a stunning a testament of UAE's achievements in space. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the last 50 years, uh, space has become an attractive sector to many Emirati, and our wish is that the legacy of the IAC 2021, for the first time in an Arab country, will spread across the region and serve as a catalyst for many other Arabic countries to engage further in the space sector. With the theme, inspire, innovate, and discover for the benefit of humankind, the IAC 2021, which make a contribution to the humanity and science by strengthening 
and enhancing international cooperation in space. 2021 is also a special year for the International Astronautical Federation because we celebrate the 70th anniversary. So at uh, the dawn of space age, um, when we look a little bit back in 1951, on the 4th of September, to be precise, 10 learned societies from nine countries founded the International Astronautical Federation. Already seven decades ago, the IF served as a bridge between East and West, thanks to the International Astronautical Congress and many other activities. Through the years, the IF continued to witness history through the remarkable achievements of its member organization. We have seen our membership grow substantially as we have integrated new and emerging space nations into our network, initiated new initiatives and activities and teamed up with uh, the actors of the space community on an increasingly global scale. So the IF's achievements in supporting international cooperation has been greatly fulfilling and the Federation continues to build the largest worldwide network of space experts and decision makers with over 400 member organizations from more than 70 countries worldwide. Now, um, if you allow me, I would like to uh, take a short moment to honor the life of one of the great IAF presidents, Professor Bernd Feuerbacher, who sadly passed away last year. And I think we have some uh, slides which will show a little bit of his legacy. We all dearly miss him in the space community. He was somehow like an anchor of trustworthiness in the sea of the Federation's activities with a clear mind and deep knowledge. His highly professional approach was admirable but most of all, Bernd Feuerbacher was a wonderful person, full of humor and empathy, and his merits for the International Astronautical Federation are numerous, and his remarkable personality will surely be missed. And some of the impressions which you can look at we really deeply miss him. So before coming to the end, I would also really like on behalf of the IAF to express my sincere gratitude to our sponsors, to our platinum sponsor, Lockheed Martin, our gold sponsors, the UAE Space Agency, the European Space Agency, and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA. Our silver sponsors, Airbus, Amazon Web Services, Northrop Grumman, Azar Cosmos, and the Boeing Company. And our bronze sponsors, Blue Origin, Endurosat, and Nanorex. And our appreciation goes also to all the other sponsors who supported the IAC edition. Your contribution is fundamental and is highly appreciated. <clears throat> Dear ladies and gentlemen, the theme of the IAC inspire innovate and discover for the benefit of humankind is something which is really, really important. Space is key for a better understanding of our planet, of climate change, 
and for the supporting the world's overall socioeconomic development in the years to come. Space is a vibrant sector. We can all agree on that. And before closing my speech, there is another important 2021 milestone that I would like to pay tribute to. It is the 60th anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's space flight, marking the beginning of the human spaceflight area and paving the way for space exploration. I would like to leave you with uh, some impressions of this remarkable event through a very touching video. And in the meantime, I wish you all the most delightful time together this week here in Dubai at the ISC 2021. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Professor Irene Freud. And now to tell us more about the legacy of the UAE National Space Program, please help me to welcome His Excellency Yusuf Hamad al-Shaybani, Director General of the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center. Future generations will be living in a world that is very different from that to which we are used to. It's essential that we prepare ourselves and our children for that new world. These are the wise words of the founding father of our nation, His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. It was his vision and a dream adopted by the wise leadership of this country that has helped mold the UAE into what it is today. From transforming the desert into futuristic cities, from trading perils to becoming a global trade hub, from navigating using the moon to preparing to land on the lunar surface, the story of the UAE is one of a pride, ambition, and inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pride on behalf of everyone at the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center to welcome you all to the 72nd International Astronautical Congress here in Dubai. The UAE hosting this year's edition reaffirms our commitment to support the growth and development of the global space sector. Being the first Arab country to host this event has been the spark thus started our plan to create such an important event. With the challenges of the past few years, we hope to deliver one of the best international astronomical congress and signal a return back to normal. The trust we have seen from the overall space community and their appetite to meet in person has fueled our passion to make this event an unforgettable experience for all. Let me start by thanking Professor Pascal Erner-Friend, 
President of the International Astronautical Federation, Dr. Christian Feichtanger, Exclusive Director of the International Astronautical Federation for joining hands with us and working closely to make today a reality. I would also like to recognize Mr. Salem Hamid al Murray, the local organizing community chair, and Adnan al Reyes, the local organizing community co chair and project director, along with our team at MBRC, who have been the driving force of this year's edition. None of this would have been possible without our sponsors. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our platinum sponsor, Lockheed Martin, gold sponsors, JAXA, ESA, and the UAE Space Agency, silver sponsors, Airbus, AWS, Azar Cosmos, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman, bronze sponsors, Blue Origin, Androsat and NanoRax. I would also like to thank Yasat for supporting and sponsoring the gala dinner. Thank you all. This year's theme is to inspire, innovate, and discover for the benefit of humankind. One way we are able to do this is through joint efforts. Inspired by our futuristic leadership's vision, the UAE has been working on building its knowledge-based economy that will sustain our future as a nation and help us contribute to the betterment of humankind. In the first week of October, we released 110 gigabytes of new data about Mars atmosphere from the Emirates Mars mission to the public for the first time. Similarly, through global strategic partnerships with leaders in the field, we have also set the foundation for growing generations of engineers, scientists, and innovators which will assure our continuous development in the space sector, both locally and internationally. We are working with multiple partners for Emirates Lunar Mission, as well as the MBZSAT, which when completed will become the region's most advanced high-accuracy, high-resolution imaging satellite. Hosting IAC 2021 is key to building a space ecosystem placing an impactful footprint and establishing relationships and building bridges of knowledge with leading international space organizations and agencies. Furthermore, it will act as a catalyst for more nations from the region to join the International Astronautical Federation as well as engage with international partners and empower a new generation of space exploration. Thank you very much. Welcome once again to Dubai and IEC 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. These are exciting times indeed. The journey of a thousand miles, they say, begins with a single step. What follows next is an inspiring rendition of a dream, a vision, a vision to explore what lies beyond the skies. It's a story of a nation and its people with not only big dreams and bigger ambitions, but also the passion and commitment to realize its aspirations. Ladies and gentlemen, the beginnings of United Arab Emirates journey. I am me, but who am I? I'm a fragment, a mark, a creation of a vision. 
to realize the hopes and aspirations of people. I am a part of a whole, just like all of you, all of us, coming together to chase a dream of the human spirit that goes beyond our soils into an unfamiliar space, only to bring us back to solve problems facing humanity on Earth. Courageous, far-sighted, humble, like the falcon. Our pride, our soul, our essence. I am the offspring of a visionary who believed in unity as a necessity for providing a better life to the people. Who believed that no matter how many buildings, foundations, schools and hospitals we raise, all these are material entities. That the real spirit behind the progress is the human spirit. The able man with his intellect and capabilities. I am me, and I am here to tell you a story about dreams. Dreams that turned into reality, and dreams that are yet to be achieved. Not just as a nation, but as one world, coming together, chasing stars, chasing dreams. There's truly no limit to a country's ambition and determination to bring about change, not just for its people, but for the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to present the IAF Awards. Please help me in welcoming on stage IAF's president, Professor Pascal Ehrenfreud and Dr. Anthony Tsurgranis, IAF VP, for honors and awards. One of the main missions of the Federation is to recognize achievements, and the IAF confers a number of awards every year to individuals and groups who have distinguished themselves in space cooperation and space activities at global level, and who are engaged with or participate actively in the activities of the Federation. It is therefore now my honor to kick off this IAF award ceremony and let me hand over to the IAF Vice President for Honors and Awards, Anthony Sugranis, who is also the chair of the IAF Honors and Awards Committee and he will lead us uh, through today's ceremony. Thank you, Pascal. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, I'm very pleased to have the opportunity uh, to introduce the IAF's most prestigious awards for the 72nd IAC. Uh, last year, the IAF launched the IAF Excellence in International Cooperation Award to be presented annually to an individual who has demonstrated excellence in their efforts to promote and facilitate global engagement and cooperation in the space sector. As a global federation, the IAF strives to promote a worldwide dialogue to support international cooperation as a foundation of a stable and developing space community. 
the award recognizes outstanding contributions by an individual in advancing international cooperation, including in, but not limited to, the fields of space science, space technology, space medicine, space law, and space policy. I am now very pleased to announce that the very first IF Excellence in International Cooperation Award goes to Jean-Yves Legal, former president of the French space agency CNES, Centre d'Etudes Nationales Spatiales, and IF Honorary Ambassador. At a... Yes, indeed. <laughs> At, at a time that there are many voices that divide us, that seek to, to bring us apart, uh, we need voices that bring us together, that, that help us have dialogue, that help us work together to overcome many of the common problems that we face uh, for the benefit of humanity, for the advancement of science, for the exploration of space, for making this a better world. Jean-Yves Legal is one of those voices. He has been one of those voices and is one of those voices. Um, as an advocate for international collaboration, Dr. Legal has established fruitful networks and collaborations with numerous stakeholders at the political, institutional, industrial, and academic levels, encouraging them to work together to create um, to create policies and strategies in pursuit of win-win scenarios to solve common problems. Recognizing early on that the space landscape thrives in diversity and international collaboration, Janiv has always found ways to convince political leaders that a strong space policy could only rely on strong cooperation within Europe and space leaders around the world. Janiv could unfortunately not be with us today for this award, but please listen to a video message that he sent. Your Excellencies, dear participants to this 70 second ISC, good morning. First of all, I want to thank IIF for honoring me with this excellence in International Cooperation Award. Since the start of my career, 40 years ago, international cooperation has always been my central guiding principle. Of course, first and foremost cooperation in Europe during my time as chair of ISA Council and of the GSA Administrative Board. But also cooperation outside Europe. When I was the head of Starsen, I brought together the Eastern and Western Blocks launchers to operate the Soyuz launch vehicle in French Guiana. Then, as chairman and CEO of Iron Space, I strongly fostered international contacts. During all my tenure, Iron Space was the world's leading launch services company. And more recently, as president of CNES, I implemented many international partnerships for the broader benefit of French space policy. I was elected IAF president in 2015 in Jerusalem. During my term, I sought to engineer international cooperation through my 3G agenda for generation, gender, and above all, geography. So, receiving this excellence in International Cooperation Award six years later here in Dubai, during which time Israel and the United Arab Emirates have reached a new political concord, is the greatest distinction that could be bestowed upon me. I will conclude with a word about the future. International cooperation is increasingly central to space policy, be it for exploration, combating climate change, or developing new space. So, we can be thankful this ISC has been able to go ahead despite the pandemic, and I would like to congratulate IIF, UIESA, and MBRSC for bringing so many distinguished participants in Dubai today. Thanks to you, we are showing that the IAC is very much alive and that nothing can stop the international cooperation that is its very essence with Dubai this year, Paris in 2022 and Baku in 2023. And I am of course looking forward to next year's IAC in my home country, in France, which I am sure will be every bit as exceptional. 
Once again, thank you IIF, bravo Dubai, and long live Paris. Now, I am pleased to present the IAF's most prestigious award, the IAF World Space Award. It recognizes a person and or a team who has made an exceptional impact to the progress of the world space activities through their outstanding contribution in space science, space technology, space medicine, space law, or space management. This award is given only when nominations of world-class outstanding merit are received. This year, we are proud to acknowledge as winner of the Hayabusa, as winner of the award, the Hayabusa 2 team, who has greatly contributed to the advancement of robotic interplanetary sample return missions through a series of flawless operational accomplishments made possible by its sophisticated technologies in solar electric propulsion, cruising, landing, rowing, impacting, and returning to Earth. To receive the award, I am delighted to call on stage the president of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, Dr. Hiroshi Yamakawa, and Dr. Yuichi Tsuda, professor at the Institute of Space and Astronautical Science and project manager of Hayabusa 2 project at the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. So uh, thank you very much for this uh, uh, great award. And it's uh, very honored to the Hayabusa 2 mission to receive the IAF uh, World Space Award. Uh, Hayabusa 2 is a Japan-led mission and is participated by more than 300 international scientists, researchers, and also staff from space agencies and also many other uh, staff engineers from the industries. And the, the, res the result of the mission was a perfect success, succeeded in reaching the ever unexplored carbon-rich asteroid Ryugu and delivering four rovers and lander to the asteroid and succeeded in two landings to two different sites for sample collection and forming a very big artificial crater on the surface of the asteroid, making three objects orbit around the asteroid for gravity science, and then finally return to the Earth with a sample from this new celestial body. So uh, this success is a success of the international collaboration among the space community and the success of the space exploration technology and the success of space science that have been fostered and accumulated by mankind for a long time. Uh, the Hayabusa 2 brought back a 5.4 gram of Ryugu sample. It's just a teaspoon of sand, but we believe that this must be a very precious and critical stepping stone for the wisdom of humanity. So on behalf of the entire HEPSA 2 mission team, thank you very much for this great and honorable award. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Iren Freud and Dr. Tsugar Tsugranis. And of course, congratulations to the winners. What was mostly a desert is now a thriving land whose cities have become a global hub for business, tourism, leisure, and connecting people. A country that welcomes the world and a home to almost 200 different nationalities, all working together as one for the betterment of humanity. And space is no exception. Through space, a new era began 
an era of cooperation to explore, aimed at bringing humanity to the next stage, together as one. It's not just one nation's dream. It's not just one nation's aspiration. It's a collective endeavor to chart a new course for the human evolution in space and beyond. They used to say that agriculture has no future, but we succeeded in transforming this desert into a green land, and a green land to become home to the tallest hotel, the largest frame. Building a super city, and even a sustainable city. Connecting the world and reaching the skies. With just four of us, and a great support of the passionate from around the globe, we entered the atmosphere. We evolved, we grew, we learned to become a team of all Emiratis to build, to create, to launch and to connect. As our leaders say, great achievements remind us to be humble but we should always be determined to do more. And so we did. We went to space with brothers and sisters from other nations. And sooner we will grow. As a family, as one. And keep on following our dreams. We are on our way. Beyond Earth. To explore the moon. To build a home. Away from home. On another planet. Because nothing is impossible with hope. And there is no limit what you can dream. Our tale started in the depths of a desert. At a night seemed endless and eternal. We had dreams in one hand and stars in the other. New friends crossed our path in this journey to find ourselves. We came together, we stood together, we acted together and became us. Now we will pick all the ripe fruits of progress and look to the future as our new homeland. For the benefit of humanity, for a better future as one and together.
in this room, who have dreams, who hold a passion to go beyond borders, not just as nations, but as a world, united together to chase the stars and chase our common dreams. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dobri bajarvat. Hello everyone to Dubai. I am Hazda Al Mansouri, the first Emirati astronaut to space. What led me to the vastness of space was a dream I had as a child, looking at the stars from my hometown, Liwa. Through the passion I carried in my heart and the vision, of our leaders, I made the impossible possible by becoming one of the first astronauts in our country. It is the same passion that the UAE exaggerates in all its endeavors, from transforming the desert into futuristic cities, and from trading in barrels to becoming the regional economic powerhouse, and from navigating desert using the stars to fly to stars, to the International Space Station. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sultan Al Niyadi, and I'm an Emirati astronaut. Before donning the astronaut uniform, my quest for knowledge led me to obtain degrees in engineering, and ultimately a PhD as well as serving in the UAE Armed Forces for almost 20 years. I was always inquisitive, and I kept asking myself, what is beyond space? And I read literature of those that traveled to the moon and beyond. My curiosity and ambition led me to join my brother Hazal Mansouri and to becoming the UAE's first astronauts. And thanks to the vision of the leadership in the UAE, we created an ambition that is inspiring Emiratis, Arabs, and it's continuing to capture the imagination of the world. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Noor Al Matrushi and I'm an Emirati astronaut. Since its foundation 50 years ago, the United Arab Emirates has presented a unique story in success. Thanks to the futuristic vision and thanks to the futuristic vision and principles established by our founding fathers. And over the next 50 years, our goals and our dreams are only going to get bigger and better. Hello everyone. I am Muhammad Al Mullah and I am an Emirati astronaut. The focus on unconditional support of humanity, it's built in the DNA of the UAE. It can be witnessed by uh, humanitarian effort uh, that's to prevent poverty, promote peace, and enhance development worldwide. As a previous generation left us with the achievement that took us to the moon and beyond, it's our duty now to leave them with a legacy that will benefit their future, and humanity. Thank you very much. <laughs> 